You guys, this is the cutest thing ever. I did not even tell Grayson to come over here. He just did it on his own and laid right next to his brother. And I think it is adorable. <laughs> So cute. This is like the closest they've ever gotten together. Let's move Porter's hand. There we go. This is so cute. You guys are so cute together. And Porter has just been laying here. He loves his play gym. Yeah. Even the play gym, Grayson. <laughs> Oh, be careful, Porter. Pillow. Yeah, that is a pillow. And Felix is here too. He's not getting in the play gym though. <laughs> Aww. Are you in the gym? Are you in the gym? So silly. Is Porter gonna tickle you? He says, tickle, tickle, Gray. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> oh, be careful, Gray. Jeez. <laughs> Good morning, guys. This is the week of Thanksgiving, and I am stressing out about all the things that we need to do to get ready for Thanksgiving. This year is the first year that I'm actually gonna host Thanksgiving. So usually we have Thanksgiving in Toledo, but since my parents don't live in Toledo anymore um, and they live in Columbus now, um, it makes things a little harder with Anthony's family. And so instead of us having to drive all the way to Toledo just for one family, we decided to host Thanksgiving this year for Anthony's family so that they would come to us and we wouldn't have to like pack the kids and drive and Porter hates the car. Grayson his whole life has loved the car and Porter hates being in the car seat. Last night we took him to go get ice cream and there's a Dairy Queen like 10 minutes away from my house and he puked in the car on the way to Dairy Queen. So um, I really don't wanna take him long distances because he does so bad in the car. And so um, we're just having them come here, which is great because we don't have to pack and travel and all that. But the caveat to that is we have to host Thanksgiving and I've never hosted a Thanksgiving before. Like I don't even know how to cook a turkey. Thankfully, it's very easy, I guess. <laughs> um, my mom has a certain way she does it. Anthony's mom has a certain way she does it. Anthony and I kind of talked about it, and we kind of want to start our own tradition and try a different way to, to cook a turkey. So um, I've been looking up recipes online, and I found one I think I like. Basically, it's kind of the same how you cook turkeys. You just put them in the oven for a really long time, but then you can like season them with different herbs and lemons and whatever you want to put on it. So that's my plan. I already bought the turkey. I tried to find the smallest one I could, but everyone else is buying small turkeys this year because no one's really celebrating Thanksgiving with COVID and everything. And so I got a 15 pound turkey. There's gonna be six of us, possibly seven if Anthony's grandma comes. Um, and so that's gonna be more than enough turkey for everyone. We're also making mashed potatoes, stuffing, and we're also gonna have gravy. We thought about doing green beans too, but I just think we're gonna have way too much food. Anthony's brother's gonna bring a dessert. His parents are bringing olives, which I don't even like. Um, deviled eggs, which I don't even like. And then mac and cheese. I do like the mac and cheese. So it's just a lot of, I need to go to the store. I need to buy all the um, things to make. And then I need to cook it all. And I also need to like clean my house and get it looking nice for everybody to come over. So it's gonna be a little stressful this week. I'm gonna be a little stressed, especially while taking care of the two kids at the same time, but I'm gonna get through it. On top of that, I also have my family's Thanksgiving and we're all meeting at my parents' house. So I don't have to host that, which is nice, but there's a lot of things that I need to bring to that. So we're gonna do a wine game. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. I hadn't until we're doing it this year for the first time and basically everyone brings two wines and you all taste 
wines blindly and whoever has the best tasting wine gets um, everyone's second wine to take home for themselves. So that's kind of fun a game. I don't drink a lot of wine, so I don't know what the best wine is. So I guess I'll have to Google it. <laughs> so um, we're going to do that. We also are having a baking challenge and um, uh, my mom gave us all the challenge of we have to make a dish with cinnamon in it. It can be a dish, it can be a dessert, entree, whatever you want it to be, appetizer. Um, and so everybody's making something different, obviously. Um, my sister's making snickerdoodle cookies. Um, my brother and his fiance are making um, cinnamon chips um and so on and so anthony and i, I think we're going to do rock candy cinnamon rock candy and we're all going to taste everybody's cinnamon dish and whoever has the best dish gets a prize so we're doing all that so i need to make rock candy i'm also in charge of bringing a veggie tray so i need to go and get that which that's actually super easy so um it's just a lot to do <laughs> So this is the calm before the storm. I'm not really gonna do anything today except for maybe clean a little, but tomorrow I'm gonna do my big grocery haul. And I also need to like prep and clean and stuff because then Wednesday, Anthony's family's coming. We're actually gonna celebrate Thanksgiving with them the day before Thanksgiving. So not a lot of time to do all this, um, but thankfully Anthony will be home so he will be able to help me. So wish me luck. So I'll try to vlog as much as I can. So it's been a few days since Grayson has been in his big boy bed and it's gone okay. He tends to sleep on the floor more than the actual bed. I think he's just still getting used to it. Um, he got out a lot, like I said in my previous vlog, he kept coming out of the room. And so I did go to the store and I bought a lock on his door and it has worked awesome. It was actually very easy to install. You literally just tear off the backing and stick it to the door. And then it just, um, you just push these buttons and it, you can adjust it. And the, so this way the handle can't turn and he is effectively locked in the room. And he doesn't cry or anything. He doesn't get mad that he's locked in it. He mostly just stays by the door. In fact, yesterday for nap time, it was the first nap that he had with this little lock on. And he turned the lights on because he can reach the lights now. And um, hey, what are you doing? And he ended up sleeping right here. And I could see his little face under the crack of the door. And so he ends up just sleeping right here. He actually um, has colored on the wall several times. So I have taken the crayons away because that's what his new thing is he likes to do. But I think he just ends up sleeping right here a lot. Or he sleeps um, on this elephant rug that he has. But he does not sleep on the bed very often. At night, sometimes he'll sleep on the bed. But for the most part, he just sleeps on the floor. Not sure how comfy that is, but... I guess he likes it. Um, so it's been going okay. It's definitely an adjustment. I am starting to put this one in the crib a lot more often and it's going okay. I'll input a pictures and video here. Grayson likes being in the crib too. Do you want to talk? He gets very mad when I go away and I don't talk to him. But he's been doing okay. I've been doing naps in the crib. I have not done overnight in the crib because although he is sleeping through the night, there are some nights like last night where he woke up at 4 a.m. Um, so he's not consistently sleeping through the night and I do like to keep him near me, but it will come time in the future where he will move to the crib full time. But. But for now, we're just going to stay in the bassinet at night. Yeah. He is talking, Porter. Um, not as much as Grayson did at this age, I feel like. But he sure smiles a lot. Yeah, you smile a lot. Never really on camera because he gets distracted by the phone. But So it's just a big, a lot of transitions around here. But we're all surviving. So Grayson is obsessed with these um, dinosaur boots 
I thought I got them from Target, but my mom thinks I got them from uh, Carter's. I need to go and see if I can find them again because he's obsessed with them and they're a little too small for him. Um, but these shoes he can actually put on himself. This is the first time he can put on his own shoes. Like, um, he usually wears just like tennis shoes that I got him that have Velcro straps and he does not know how to put those on, but these boots he will put on himself. So that's pretty impressive that he can put on shoes himself. It's kind of like a little independence for him, I guess. He can do that. He can't really figure out how to put on his clothes yet. Um, he can take off socks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the boots are a pretty big milestone. He can put those on himself. So that's pretty fun to watch. Welcome to Cafe Frisch. <laughs> Cafe Frisch. Ah. Oh. What's your language? <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep that out. Anyway, hi guys. We are currently in the process of making. We? Okay, Anthony is in the process mm -hmm. of making hard candy. This is something that his family has done a lot. My family has never made hard candy, but. It's so difficult. <laughs> recipe in the description below. <laughs> I I will give you the recipe if anybody wants to see it, but yes, Anthony is hard at work making it. It's very easy. It's just time consuming. Quotes around hard at work. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got that going. Um, really, it just takes caro syrup uh, and a lot, a lot, a lot of sugar. <laughs> it, it's a very unhealthy amount of sugar. And then you coat it in more sugar. Right. Yes. Hence the powdered sugar right here. I may put too much in there. Porter is here. I'm holding him. He's been napping, but he is up for the evening. And we have Grayson. <laughs> we have Grayson. He's watching Baby Bomb while we work in the kitchen. It's almost dinner for him. But this is kind of the calm before the storm. I went shopping earlier today and Meyer was packed with people. And um, our, our counter is just a mess, but it's got basically all the foods that we're going to be making. We're making stuffing. We're going to have some potatoes. Um, my mom is bringing the turkey tomorrow morning. Yeah, so we have a lot going on, but this is the calm before the storm. Tomorrow, Anthony's family comes, and then the day after, we go to my family's house, so. I think I'm supposed to put the powdered sugar on top. Oh, well. Yeah. Can you put it back in the bag? No. <laughs> Just leave it. It's good. It'll get powdered on both sides. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. It's oh, not going to no. pour in and push all the powdered sugar to the sides. Oh, so should we, should nah, we clean I'm gonna it? I'm going to leave it. Oh, boy. Say hi, Gray. Is it almost Thanksgiving? Can you say happy Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving. Are you ready for dinner? Okay, so update on the hard candy. Anthony has made one batch and we're on to batch number two. So this is batch number one. Ignore the hammer. Ignore the hammer. That's what we're gonna use to break it up. Um, so batch number one is cinnamon flavor. That's why it's red. Although it kind of looks orangey. It'll look red when it's done. Oh, okay. And then batch number two is on the stove right here. We made it like a yellow color and it is a Butterscotch. Butter rum. Butter rum. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll, which you can't really taste the cinnamon roll very much, but it's very good. It's very sweet. Can't really tell the butter rum either. <laughs> yeah. It just tastes like sugar. It's just sugar, which is fine. Ooh, so. You get to be a chef. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, I'm going to watch. I'm going to film you. Oh, wait. Give me Anthony's a second. I'm going to pour it. In there. Yes. You can watch how it's made. Oh, my gosh. It's so interesting. So much fun. Take the gelatinous stuff and then you pour it into a cookie cup or a cookie sheet. What do you think, Porter? This is Porter's witching hour, but he's being very happy because I'm holding him. Back to the rock candy. And hard candy, I guess. You have to be very careful because this is hot enough to scald your hand and it is very hard to get off. Yeah. 
quickly, at least. You yeah. can get it off by running it under hot water, so that's not going to help you not get scalded. Right. Looking good. What do you think, Felix? Side note, did you all know that there is an app that recently came out and you can record your cat's meows and it will tell you what your cat is saying? I really need to try that because Felix talks a lot. Side note, I bet you it's full of it. I don't know. I'll have to try it. It's probably just going to be like, I want food. <laughs> probably. Let me outside. Yeah, it's true. Have you let me outside yet? No? Okay. Do it. <laughs> bet you won't find me. Well, this is going well. Now we just got to clean. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, I'm holding Porter for another hour, so... I just spent the last four doing this, so. Yeah. <laughs> we need more hands. Wait. I need, I need more hands, I guess. <laughs>